welcome to day three of 12 days of Christmas. And I am about to, first of all, let me tell y'all. Last night, the twins slept in their room for over 12 hours without waking up. So, you know, I got a good sleep. Okay, so I am going to the gym today. <sighs> Honestly, I'm dreading going because, you know, I got to get the twins ready. And, um, yeah, but I do want to get me some food on my stomach before I go because I've been noticing that when I go to the gym, um, I be feeling nauseous if I'm like working out on an empty stomach and I don't know if I'm gonna come straight back home so I want to get some food on my stomach before I go you know just so when I leave the gym I won't feel the urge to like get back home you know so that's where we're at today I just woke up well I've been up for like maybe an hour or so so that's why I still look the way I look I know that I probably won't go m many places out after the gym because like when I go to the gym, maybe I'll put my hat on, but when I go to the gym, usually I have on, you know, a scarf because I have my wig raised <laughs> in or um, a hat. So yeah. <laughs> So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the twins ready. I'm I'm, I'm telling y'all, but I'm telling myself at the same time. I think I'm gonna get the twins ready, get everything situated with them. I did, I fed them baby food already. I tried to feed Khalil some eggs. He, he, don't, he didn't want it. I fed Kaylani eggs one time and afterwards she got sick. So I don't know if she's allergic or what. So I don't want to do that again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get them ready. What are you doing? Hey, Kaylani, Khalil, what are you doing? Excuse me, what are you doing? Don't come pull up on me. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. So you said forget me now, huh? <laughs> oh, here you come, girl. All right, mommy got big eye heads. Come on. I bought the twins some hats that I showed y'all. He does not want to keep it on. And she already, see, this is why I only like putting her in sleepers because she keep taking her socks off. Girl, Khalil, I'm not taking your hat off. I'm not. <laughs> all right, let's get ready to go. All right, all right, you guys, we're all ready. Girl, see, I just put that sock on y'all. She keep pulling it off. <sighs> Kelani. This is why I only like putting sleepers on her. Hold on, y'all. Can you stop pulling your socks off, please? Pretty please with a cherry on top. Please. Please. Oh, 
of us a Yui. Then, oh shoot, how am I gonna get? I got, I'm forgetting I got the twin, so I'm like, eh, how am I gonna do that? Y'all, I absolutely hate parallel parking. I don't know why. I probably can just pull in. I probably don't even have to do all that uh, extra stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ain't see that? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting here contemplating if I should take their stroller in there because They're like really heavy. And like, if I mentioned to y'all before, I think that's why my chest, like I sprained the muscle in my chest trying to carry them, but they're heavy. Um, so I really probably do need to take the stroller. I really don't want to, but it's probably the best thing. And put my Apple Watch on. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Okay, so I get readings from my girl that I had. I had her on my channel before. Her name is Ashley. I get readings from her, and I had a reading yesterday. And it's so crazy because sometimes she'll ask me stuff that have not happened yet. She'll be like, "Did you eat such and such?" And I'm like, "No." But then after I have the reading, it'll happen, and like. Yesterday, she just asked me randomly during my reading if if I seen the numbers 1010. If I if I saw the numbers 1010. And I was like, no. Because usually every day I always see the numbers like 222. Lately, I've been seeing um, a lot of like 555, 222, 333, 888, 777. I've been seeing those a lot. And, um, but I know it's not always consecutive numbers that you have to see. It could be like, you know, other numbers that you just see a lot that have different meanings. But when I just took my um, watch off the charger, I took it off at 1010. So it's just crazy because that's the third thing that happened after our reading that really stuck out to me. She talked about my, me being my, um, me practicing mindfulness and during my reading. So when I went in Target, I actually came across a book that said, mindfulness like it was just a small little book that said mindfulness i don't even know if i brought it with me no i didn't but um you know i'm pretty sure it's always been books out there about mindfulness but i just you know it's not something that i ever really paid attention to but you know now that she mentioned it of course it stuck out to me so i picked that book up from target and then i'm reading the book atomic habits and she was also telling me how to appreciate um, my my success in every level that I'm at, even if it's not like the end goal that I'm trying to reach, appreciate it at every level. And like the book that I'm reading, um, it just so happened that after I had my reading, I was reading that book and the page said exactly what she was saying. So it just, that just stuck out to me. Cause I'm like, I never look for the number 10. Well, I don't never look for those numbers anyway. They just pop up, pop out at me. But I never really see the number 10, 10 or I probably never pay attention to it. But being that she said something, it stuck out to me. I just took my watch off the charger. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my asthma pump, y'all. I really, 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 really do not feel like taking the twins out and putting them in a stroller. Like, literally, the door. Like, let me show y'all. Can y'all see it? I don't know if y'all can see it because my dig on camera. But the, I mean, my the this block in it. But the door is right there. It's right there. So it's not like I have to like. I actually got a good part. Like I'm part literally right in front of the front door. But it's just. It's, it's not like with this gym, the gym daycare is not literally right when you walk in the front door. It's not far either. It's like you just got to walk to it. And when you're carrying twins, that can... That. So, let me go ahead and get them out. Get my book. 
get my mask. I'm not gonna take the camera in there because I'm trying to be in and out. All right, y'all, I'm about to go in the gym. Wish me luck. Pray that I have a great workout because I really haven't had like an intense, intense workout in a while. So I really want to get it, get her done today. Hi friends. Um, I'm out of the gym. I had a good workout. I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. Tomorrow we're gonna do weightlifting. Um, I'm about to go in BJ's with me Madre. We need to pick up some things. And yeah. One of the things when it comes down to having twins, any baby really, but twins, you know, they take up more space. So, when having twins, it can kind of be a little bit more difficult to, you know, go grocery shopping, not just with the fact of that, um, like, I don't have no space to put the groceries, but when it comes down to putting groceries in the car, especially if you have like a smaller car like me, which, you know, eventually I'm definitely gonna have to get a bigger car because that's just what it is. That's what it is gonna be. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm about to go into BJ's. Not taking my camera. So much going on. So, we just got done grocery shopping. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Oh, Lord. Sorry, I can't even move the camera. The reality of it. Look. And then, you can't even really see, but right there is packed to the rim. So, oh, y'all. I know one day I'm going to be blessed enough to be able to uh, get the kind of car that I need. You know, for more space. Um, you know, it's not that I can't get a car right now. It's just that, I don't know. You know how it is. It's like, well, if you have paid off a car before, it's like, it's nothing like paying off a car. Um, I got my car in 2012. And it's been paid off for some years now. Um, so I don't even know what it feel like to pay a car payment. So with that being said, it's just, you know, going from this to a car payment is like, mm, and then it's like the car that I want, I know the car payment is going to be expensive. So being that I, it's not like I need a car right now, like it's nothing wrong with my car. Um, you know, I'm just not in a rush to get a car, but eventually speaking realistically i'm gonna have to get a new car because honestly my car is just too small you know my family is too big for this car you know um yeah most of the time is we don't have to travel all together but the times that we do travel all together we either have to take two separate cars or yeah we have to take two separate cars so it's just it's just you know it's an inconvenience but um it's just not like a need right now so you know i'm gonna re work really hard to get the car that i want so that you know we could just be more comfortable um my mom was just even saying that my trunk is really small like, i have a compact car so because like you know the spaces that's like for con I'll say compact like you only can put a compact vehicle there my car can fit in that so um i really want a suv yeah so i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it but anyway besides that y'all it is 4 17 i'm on my way home one thing i do not like to do after i buy groceries to put up the groceries like mm, it's just yeah Ooh. Lord, stuff falling over. Uh, so it's much later now. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like just now hitting nine. Nine oh nine. I am so tired. I was just telling my boyfriend that I'm so tired that the balls on my feet hurt. And that's it's been a long time since it's been like that. But I told myself that um on Sundays it was gonna be kind of like a 
a reset day just preparing for the week so i have already taken a shower but i'm about to take a bath um i'm just pretty much taking a bath for relaxation not to cleanse my body because i already did that and um yeah so that's what it's gonna be but i'm so tired y'all anyway <clears throat> so i also made me some I, I haven't even had dinner and i have uh, made me a little drink this is my dinner tonight this is what i was telling y'all like one of the pre-made meals from wegman so i just heated it up in the microwave and i have a drink right there a candle lit and I'm gonna go ahead and run me a bath. a little thing right there where I can lay my iPad on but the only thing is like let me show y'all hold on give a visual today but it has like little ridges right here I just don't like how far it lays back that's all so but I do need somewhere to keep my food I need somewhere to put my food at so that might just be what it's gonna have to be and I think I'm gonna use this tonight because I like this because for one it's like a it's oil based it's a sugar scrub so it'll leave your body soft it's also oil based so it leave it doesn't leave your skin dry when you get out the shower because i'm gonna be honest y'all i'm not gonna feel like lotion it when i get out the tub i would love to put some bubbles in here but with the jet it makes the bubbles go like really really high and i want to use the jet today so yeah so I'm about to go ahead and take a shower because I have to find a way to like kind of finesse to where I like I cover this up because with any movement the light keeps switching on because the light works off of a sensor yeah that'll work great so that way when I turn the light off I can just cover it up okay hopefully it just stay like that that's so ghetto but whatever so so i'm about to take a shower y'all and yeah i know some people like my boyfriend be like oh you eating in the bathtub or you eating in the bathroom but the toilet is in a whole separate room and the door is so yeah <laughs> but um okay i'm about to enjoy my time to myself you guys sorry you can't see me let me turn this way i'm about to enjoy my time to myself then i'm gonna come get in the bed i might do a little reading i don't know i'm so tired so i don't know but i am gonna come back on here just to say good night to you guys so y'all today was kind of like a sunday reset day um i got some fog in my glasses because i just got out the bathtub and you know how it is when you take a bath sometimes it be hot okay um but today was kind of like a sunday reset day i went grocery shopping making sure that i have everything for the week so that i don't run into any problems as far as me wanting to eat unhealthy um i did a lot of mental um reset um i'm really on a like a mental journey right now so yeah, I'm, I'm 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 I was I'm happy about where I'm at mentally, um, and I'm about to just finish watching Aaliyah's face vlog because she just uploaded one today, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. My I am I'm about to say my go I am going to wake up at 5 a.m. Wake up, just get my mind right before the kids wake up. And everything like that then we're gonna go to the gym and we're just gonna start a new day so you know I apologize for me looking like this all day you guys but 
gym, grocery store. Yeah. I asked my sister because she do my hair Wednesday. So being that she's going to do my hair, that will kind of make it easier for me to look more presentable when I'm vlogging. Because I really don't like being on camera with my scarf on, you guys. But under my scarf is my wig braids. And I do not like to have my wig on all the time. It gives me a headache. And I just don't like. I just don't like. I don't know what it is. But anything that's on me that can come off easily. Like wig. Uh, contacts. Lashes. Uh, makeup. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it on me. That's why every time I get individual lashes. Like I get my lashes done. They never last longer than a week, you guys, because I always end up picking them off. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's that called. But like even when it comes to my nails, I have to keep my nails done because if I just have my bare nails, I end up biting my nails, which is so like nasty. My nails when I was younger, <laughs> my nails was terrible. So I started getting my nails done and that helped me to stop biting my nails because for one, I'm not going to bite my nails because it's like it's hard. You know, I can't just. I can't just bite my nails. I mean, I could, but I, I ain't that bad. But I don't know what that is. Does somebody know what that what's that called when you just like, I just, if I get in the house and I have clothes on, I have to take my clothes off right away and get in something comfortable. I just don't like that stuff on me. I really don't. So when it comes to having a wig on me, I just don't like wearing a wig just to wear a wig. It's just not my thing. It's just, if I'm going somewhere, like, out, then that's different. But going to the gym, I'm not wearing my wig. <laughs> going to the grocery store, the only time I'm going to go to the grocery like, even when I was in my Thanksgiving vlog, I went to the grocery store with my wig on, and I did that because I wanted it to look presentable for the vlog. So it is, like, a struggle for me. Because it's not like what I normally do. And I don't always want to come up here with my scarf on, you know? So, my sister's going to do my hair Wednesday. And then later on in the month, I plan on getting a sew-in, which will make it easier. Because I can't take out a sew-in. So, yeah. So, anyway. I've talked y'all head off enough. Um, I do want to apologize because I feel like this vlog was mainly me talking, talking, talking. But... I really didn't do much, you guys, and I didn't want to really take you in the grocery store. That's the only place I went today, the grocery stores, and I didn't want to take y'all in there because it's like, it just was too much going on. Like, my mom was with me. The twins was with me. It already was a struggle of me trying to get the groceries in the car. Like, it just was a lot. So, I'm glad my mom came with me because if it wasn't for her coming with me, that would have been a struggle within itself. Um. So, yeah. So... Sorry for this talkative vlog, but that's it for this vlog. <laughs> and I will see you guys. Am I going to see you tomorrow? I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>